Hey everyone, welcome back for more EXO's Heroes content. In today's video, we're going to discuss a ranking of all first guardians. But before that, if you want updated EXO's Heroes content, please hit the subscribe button down below. Hey guys, so what we have here is an event that's running currently. It dropped yesterday. It's a choice re uh, banner for Dragon Emperor's Knights or the first guardians so this is actually not the video uh that i am putting out it's actually more of the ranking but i'll run through um the event just in case any of you guys would want to summon for these uh, first guardians so you have to choose from uh the seven of them on which you're going to summon for then once you've chosen already a first guardian to summon for then you will be summoning for that uh first guardian uh for the rest of the duration up until february 11th okay so the important part here is choosing who who will you choose and which first guardian will you be using so let's go to that part of this video which is ranking all of the first guardians this event by the way has happened twice already so just in case that this event comes around you already have a guide on which who you want to prioritize in your pool so what we have here right now are our dragon emperor's knights or your first guardians so we have actually seven of them so to start off with uh, the seventh ranked so the least that you're going to pick would be Baelish okay Baelish actually belongs to Historic Republic so if you built up Historic Republic you might consider him but um, I urge you to consider the others first before you get him because um, just to run through Baelish's passive it's actually um, just his usual mana absorb 3 okay Plus, he has, of course, all of all of the first guardians have this uh, this passive. So you have Dragonite Blessing, increased damage dealt to dragons with the dragon scale of order activated by 250%. Overtime effect decreases the enhanced dragon fang effect used by the darkness element dragon of order by 20%. So he is actually good when you bring him in the dark um, dark days for the dragon okay the great one overtime effect grants the great the uh, grants the great one marked to four allies with the highest attack in the same row as self if an ally with the great one mark is attacked they gain the dragon's blood mark once per turn excludes damage from wrath so the dra the the overtime effect is actually applied to the four highest attack allies that you have this is good actually in the dragon as well so it grants you actually if the market if the mark target is attacked again while the mark is active so this is dragon blood already dragon one dragon blood plus one max seven if the mark target is not attacked for two, two turns all dragon blood marks are removed so dra the dragon blood marks actually is is um what gives the first guardians their their barrier so also they also get a wrath so one once per turn upon taking damage attacks at allies marked with dragon blood will counter dealing 50 percent damage for each dragon blood mark on them okay dragon scale once per turn upon taking damage grants a barrier to all allies so this is it the barrier that i'm talking about all allies marked with dragon blood for 10 turns the barrier strength is equal to 100 percent of own defense for each dragon blood mark across all allies can't be stacked so okay so in a nutshell if you have first guardians they will be getting a barrier they will be getting a counter uh, which is wrath and the the barrier is actually very 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 tough um unless your enemy actually has iris which she can take away all barriers so basically all of them will have this most of your decisions in choosing which uh, first guardian you're going to summon for will actually be more on the additional skills that they have and also their s1 and s2 so for baelish his s1 is 
Deal 63% damage to all enemies. Corrodes target. Dealing 39% damage every turn for two turns. And for his S2, it deals 375 damage to one enemy. Corrodes dealing 112 damage for every turn for five turns. The possibility of you bringing Baelish actually in PvT PvP is actually very low. Um, I would prefer if you have him and if you're bringing him, you bring him in PvE content because of his of his damage over time and his corrode damage. But apart from that, he's actually the least um, first guardian that you're going to summon for. So for our sixth uh, first guardian, um, it's actually FC Anastasia. So FC Anastasia belongs to North Von Frosty. So for her signature force, Baelish again uh, belong to Storage Republic for signature force. So, but Anastasia is actually a support unit with Frost. Anastasia actually used to dominate PvP back in the day when all of us were still starting for the global launch. So just to cover her her passive, it's the same as Baelish in terms of the Dragonite passive. Although she has first aid for her heal. Um, for her S1, she has e heals all allies by 49% of own maximum health, cleanses all debuffs and damage over time effects from allies. So she is actually good as a healer because her heal is a burst skill as well. But again, if 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 we have seen actually, if, if you notice, we have much better healers in the game actually now. We have FC Talia, we have Dorka, and the meta right now is actually uh, is actually being countered by your nullify heals. You have FC Ramji or Ramji, you have uh, Carrie. So um, she has been actually got she actually has gone down already from where she was before as one of the top two but now she is in the sixth spot in terms of ranking so for her s2 so it's a burst it's a it's a action sorry it's a single target uh damage which deals 525 percent damage to the enemy so it's it only requires three mana so that is why she has actually gone down because there are a lot better healers in the game and also she's not um she's not really viable in terms of other in terms of being overall um she's still good in content like your pve and your holy dragon grounds but apart from that um you you won't use her as much in pvp so for our fifth um first guardian so we have here fc maggie so for fc maggie um she comes from raised red for her signature force her element is fire and she's an attack um, hero type. So for her, she has seen she has seen a, a little bit of PB, uh, PvP action, um, but not on most decks. Um, she's actually viable, very viable with the dragon, and she actually is good also in all in almost all PvE content. Um, for for her passive, so it's the same. But except for mana utilization, which increases her attack based on allies' mana count, which is very good, which increases her attack. And for her S2, she has she deals 102 damage to all enemies, which actually is good in terms of giving her two AoE skills for her S1. Then for her S2, it's also a AoE skill, which is a burst skill. Deals 178 damage to all enemies. It's only a 3 mana skill, but it's burst. And comboed with her mana utilization, she deals a lot of damage for this skill. She is actually one of my favorite. And actually, from my from uh, which uh, first guardian uh, did I choose to pick for this event? Actually, I chose her because I only have one copy of her. I need more copies of her. Uh, for the rest, I have I have uh, multiple copies already. So she is here at number five in terms of the ranking. For fourth, you have you have FC Baraka. So um, Baraka is here because number one, she ac uh, he actually contributes to you stats of your wasted red heroes here. If you have more copies of him fusion um the stats actually are increased way more 
So if you can see, um, here are the buffed heroes that uh, he buffs. Most of them are from your Wasted Red um, nation. That is why he's in fourth. And more or less, he has Finishing Blow for his passive. And also, same uh, dragon, uh, first dragon passive, Barrier and your Wrath. Um, for his S1, you have a single single target damage of 225%. And he is actually better with Rachel in your team with the Disheartened uh, effect or Disheartened mark. Also with his S2, better with uh, he is better with Rachel on your team. So um, he actually gives you more of a utility because of his additional stats that he gives to Wasted Red Nation heroes. Okay, for your third, top three would be, on your third would be FC Zeon. So actually guys, to be, to be, um, you know, to be transparent with you, the top three are, the, the, the top two are actually interchangeable. Um, it's a toss up between Ramji and Zeon. But for Zeon right now, um, Zeon was one of the top um, first dragon uh, heroes that we had in the game. He used to dominate PvP actually. But now he has had a comeback and he's very useful together with, uh, with FC Rachel in the team for PvP. So that is why he has risen back to the top three. So he has counter plus your dragon, your first dragon passive. His S1 is deals 20 damage to one enemy and for his S2, it's a burst skill at uh, 3 mana cost, deals 178% damage to all enemies, similar to FC Maggie. So he's a bit, he's actually a, a bit tough to kill and um, he actually deals a lot of damage. That is why, um, and more so now that you bring him with FC Rachel and the synergy with uh, Linombe. That is why he actually is doing well right now in PvP. So for my second ranked first guardian, we have we have Ramji. So Ramji is in second because number one, because he has the nullify heal ability. That's primarily his uh what do you call this? His, uh, his role in the team to counter the current meta. So he is with North Von Frosty Signature Force. And uh, he is actually of uh, darkness, darkness Element and he's a support hero. So just to go over his, his what do you call this? His passive. So he has Cleanse 3 and the uh, First Guardian passives. For him to be to be good, he actually needs to you know he, he needs to be a leash potential in terms of survivability because he's actually very squishy to com to to compete in the higher levels of PvP, and with even without um, Shufraken, he actually shines because of his nullify heal for 12 turns for S1 with a single um, target. But for his S2, it's a AoE and deals 133% damage to all enemies. And his Nullify Heal is for 16 turns, so can't be removed. Okay, so that is why Ramji is in the top 2 and on the second spot of all First Guardians. Because he counters the current meta right now. By the way, I forgot to mention that FC Baraka and FC Zeon belong to Lenombe in which... And their, their signature force actually is under Linombe. And for our top ranked um, Fate Core for First Guardians, it would be Rera. Because um, number one, Rera is uh, very, very good because of this passive. Aside from he, her First Guardian um, passive, she has Guardian Stars or... Increases attack speed by 32% by 32 and accuracy by 10 when the battle begins. So she's already a fast hero. And but and, and with the addition of this one, she will be faster than everyone. Okay. Um, she just might have to be to compete with speed with with a, with a opponent rarer on the on, on the other side. Okay, so then 
Aside from that, the Guardian Star restores 100% of health when Tranquil Effect is removed. So for you to mac maximize her, she is ideally brought with Bathory with the Tranquil Effect. But with this one, the Mark, Guardian Star Mark, the attack speed and the accuracy, this is actually very good already for her. This is actually expected as well because she's a Gold Fate Core. Um, if we go back to to FC Zeon, um, he uh, sorry I forgot to uh, to mention that he has Air to Dragon Blood, so resets if this heartened target dies from own attack. So, but this is also dependent on FC ratio. So going back to FC Rera, so that is actually why she actually is very very good. She actually is fast already, and she is, she will be faster. Or she is actually the fastest hero in Exo's heroes because of this. She has first first attack with high damage, sing, single attack high damage, which actually makes her very vital in any fast um, team composition. Um, she also has focus fire, so afflicts targets with the focus fire mark and decreases dodge block for one round of ba on basic attack. Okay, so for her S one. Um, she deals 300 damage to one enemy, reduces the target's accuracy evasion by 100, uh, removed when the target takes damage, self grants uh, status effect immunity for 12 turns. If you're, mar if you're marked with Tranquil, deals 50% additional damage for each mana the targets have. So again, another bonus if you have Bathory on your team with her. And for her S2 is deals 124% 24 Piercing damage to all enemies reduces the accuracy evasion again with the highest attack by 100. Again, it has bite, uh, which deals more damage if the opponent has a lot of mana. And again, this AoE skill is a burst skill at only three mana. So that is why Rera tops everyone here. She has actually she's actually the most sought after um, hero right now if you're bringing greenland and one of the top heroes in pvp that we have right now okay so um what i'm saying guys is um and also i forgot um rara hails from greenland so she gets her signature force from greenland okay so she's nature and she is chaos and a gold fate core similar to zeon okay uh, again what i'm saying is um your pick will really depend on number one what nation you are focusing on number two uh what what nation are you starting or you want to build on and uh what do you think is best for you in terms of the heroes that you will put together in terms that it could help you in pvp also in pve but my recommendations would be if you're not using wasted red do not pull for baraka but if you're wasted red he would be a big big really big uh, addition or help to you um ramji you should if you lack somebody with the uh, if you need somebody with nullify heal because carry right now is actually the, uh, doesn't have her signature for us yet so ramji is a perfect fit for your team if you want to counter heals with the enemy um maggie if you've collected all of the other heroes she's actually a good hero that you can build up as for anastasia anastasia is actually good but if you have other options do go for the op other options also for baelish and my top two for you to recruit again would be either rara if you're using greenland if you're willing to build greenland or if you're using lenombe um please recruit for Rude Zeon. If you're using um, Wasted Red, so you can, again, recruit for Baraka or for FC Mag. So anyway, guys, um, that is my, that is my uh, rating or ranking of the First Guardians. Again, this is actually just my opinion. And also put down in the comments below what you think. Also, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps my channel a lot. Thank you again for supporting me uh, and my channel. Again, guys, take care. This is The Warden, and I'm out.